Hello, everybody. I am your host, the Powerful Fox Archangel, the English gentleman of the internet, and we are back with Sinner of Sacrifice, where we are go, where I am waiting for the voices to beg for their lives as we dive headfirst into death. Please beg. That gave me so much satisfaction. Come on. Yep. He. No, we will not stop. You are going to die with me. It will bring me so much joy. I'm sorry. I didn't ask you to be a part of me. If you don't want to die with me, then leave me alone. No. Nope. Stop. Not stopping. Stop. No. Nope. Please stop. You'll never come back if you go there. There is nothing to go back to. We only have each other now. Don't abandon me. Everyone suffers. They were right about me. Then, then. Listen to me. Not then. <sighs> they were afraid. Like children scared of the dark. So was I. They made up monsters to fill the void. That doesn't make them real. You're hell, aren't you? They made them real. Your skin is awfully pale. No! Let's go, Senoa. We've got a god to go. We've got a god to kill. It's not like the old stories, is it? The noble warrior facing evil in search of victory and honor. Clear dividing lines. No. I'm gonna turn you into a meme driver. No. Get lost. Can I move on? This is her hell. <laughs> Here come the Nordic runes. Wait, could they be all the ones we missed? All the rune stones we missed? Well, crap. Pretty cool. I missed quite a few. Which doesn't surprise me, actually. <sighs> Alright, Senua, where are we? We're in a burning village. We're at a burning place. Yeah, we can see it. Don't feel much towards it. Other than the clog in my throat. I remember it clearly now. Oh. She has nothing to fear anymore. The gods have saved your mother. Through my hand. This is the will of the gods. Fuck the gods! Ha <laughs> ha! Why? Good on ya! This is what happens when you listen to the voices of the underworld. They crawl into your soul and rot you from the inside. Then what are you if not a voice of, from the underworld, eh? 
defy the gods like your mother, and the darkness will come for you too. You understand, Sam? Madness. I was just a child. You created this darkness! You created this darkness so you could hide behind it! Only suffering. What the hell is with those bodies? It is the way of the gods. What's with the twitching? To war! To oh my third. Great to your mother. Your mother, who is too weak to fight the darkness. Fight! Fight! Man. Fight! You tortured her! You killed her! You are the dead. Those rituals, the years of oh. isolation, the pain that still haunts you. It was the only way to fight the curse within you. You're a liar. The darkness is inside you. Let me destroy you. You're a liar! No, Senua. The darkness is here. You can't wish it away. And it will watch as you draw the last dying breath. You're speaking nothing but crap. Oh, you wanna fight me? You wanna fight me? Try again. Yeah, no. That's a corpse now. Ah, oh, of course. Of course you have to send me a Larry. Yes, that's what I'm gonna name it right at the end. He is called Larry. Oh wow, our sword is not taking any of this crap. No! Bye! You die! So do you! Oh, that's not fair. More than one shield, guy. You're weird. I'm gonna kill you. No, bye. Bad. You die. No, uh, what are you still doing alive? No, I said die. Oh, give me a moment. Oh. Sorry, I was having lung problems last night and it looks like I'm still having them. You die! You hear me? Everything must die! <laughs> Wait, what the fuck? Watch out. Uh, yes, you die next. Why do you always break my frame rate, Executioner? You need to die, like now. Thank you. Frame rate's finally back. Meaning everything may die! Ha ha ha! No! You wanna try it? Yeah, I say no. You die. You die horribly. You die nastily. I am going to kill you. I don't care about your warrior's hell. See through your darkness. You're a liar and a murderer. And if you really are Hela, then I have 
have a sword here that can kill a god! No, I just gotta jump. Move. Yeah, fuck off. We're not having that. Mistake searching for Gideon. Hell is scared of us. The mistake that killed him in the first place. I tried to save you from yourself. No, you didn't. It is a lie. The plague of darkness. The butchering of the nearby animals, men. You saw it yourself. And I will fight until I find him. I know you're here. Hold on. I'll find you. Oh, we're fighting Valoravan, are we? like you the first time I had to fight you. No, you're just being annoying. Now I can hit you, Val Prick. Am I fighting more than one now? Come on, this is bullcrap. You're making me fight two bosses. Come on! Alright. Bloody... Alright, I've had... Ah! Let me finish my sentence! Oh, hi, Soot. Oh, hi, Guam, even though the achievement pulled you, Fenrir. Guam, Fenrir, they can be considered the same thing sometimes. Okay, that's bullcrap. You just admit air. At least I've now confirmed I can just spam hit them. Where is he? You're scared, he aren't you, hell? Lies. I know he's here. You took him from me. You have him. Dillion's gone. Dillion is dead. Let him go. The Catholic Or what? What can he do to me that you haven't already? You betrayed your own Fight father. Me. Come on! search of in search of love. Look where that's got you. Bloody hell! Let go of your battle. No, I will not let go of my battle! These people are starting to annoy me! And he owes me tea and crumpets! No, I haven't forgotten about that! I want my tea and crumpets! Watch out. Who's that wiggling then? You bloody hell! Alright, we're doing a new tactic. It's called I'm Fed Up, so spray attack! Oh, 
Okay, you're cheating with that wiggling now. No, fuck off. You're not killing me. I am killing you. I refuse to die. I will not die to the likes of you pricks. Especially when you keep killing my frame rate. I have god tier levels of power. So now stop attacking that one. Screen, stop going dark. I am your commander. I am your leader. You will perform what I tell you. Getting sluggish. I refuse to die. I am not letting you kill me. You can keep coming. I will keep killing. I will not die to the likes of these. I refuse. Let go of your battle. You don't no. Have to fight yes, I bloody do. It is a matter of principle at this point. Fuck off. No. No. This is not how I'm meant to go. You are weak, Senora. Get up! Thank you, Framerate. Uh, this is just what the level I wanted it to be at for this final bit. There we go, that's better. I guess. I swear I should be feeling something right now. <laughs> it might be madness. Is that what you want me to believe? After all you've done to me? And to him? You're not alive. But you're alive. 
liar! You crawled into me to confuse me and deceive me. But I know it. I know you have him. I love the way you're just permanently talking to the camera. It's quite cool. I'll give you my life. It's what you want, isn't it? My soul. Take it. I'll be a, I'll be a slave for you. I'll fight with you in Ragnarok. Why frame rate? Why? Why? Why at the final point? <laughs> Please speak, Hella. I want to hear what you say. And that representation is technically inaccurate, because the half of Hela that's meant to be living is meant to be extremely beautiful. Then again, it's hard to be extremely beautiful when half of, your, half of you is decaying and rotting, so... Hmm. then all right then indeed I have to admit I was expecting something different I learned the hard way to not be afraid of death so but a life without loss That is a good, good analogy. Very good. You turn your back on death, and all you can see is the shadow that it casts. The longer you hide from it, the longer the shadow grows until all you can see is dark. When our time comes, we must look death in the eye and embrace it as a friend. Yep, I agree. I can agree with that full heartedly. Only then can we let go of our fear. And emerge from that darkness.
Please speak up, help. Never forget what it is like to see the world as a child, Sonia. Every autumn leaf is like a work of art. Every rolling cloud a moving picture. Every day, a new story. We too will emerge from this magic, like a wave from the ocean, only to return to the sea. Oh, the tingling on my back from this. Even in darkness, the wonder and the beauty of this world never leaves us. This is... It is always there, waiting to be seen again. I love these messages. Wait, what's going on? Is something happening to this voice? This is where my story once began. And so it has to end here. Because I cannot see further than this. Follow us. Okay. We have another story to tell. I can't wait to hear it. Allow me to join you. Friend. Ooh, I like this ending. Bye, Senua. Good luck with your next story. I know it's hard to tell how mixed up you Oh, this music. Hoping what you need is behind every door. Each time you get hurt, I don't want you to change. Because everyone has <laughs> After all, the feeling sometimes wishing you were someone else. I feel I should be talking over this and giving my review end end game review, but this song is not sadness. This feeling is not joy. I truly understand. Please don't cry now. Please don't go. I want you. All right, so just to try and not drag the episode out longer than it should be, I'm now going to give my review. Um, wow, that ending. That's all I can say. From the basic premise of the story, which is which was a, bit, a fairly basic concept, we're going out to save someone that was very dear to us. It's a very basic concept used many times. The way it was played out, though, in the fact we're resurrecting them from death was a nice twist. It... Honestly, the story in the middle seemed to just be a bit stale. It just seemed to keep going. Going on the same fa thing, but at the same... Zinbel. Oh, that was the shadow guy. Oh. Well, yeah, the story seemed a bit stale in the middle. But that ending made up for it completely, so... I... I actually loved the combat system, once I got it figured out. It was very smooth for what it was, for what it is. It actually feels like you're properly at risk sometimes. What I mean sometimes, all the time, I was getting hit left and right. And it really made the concept of multiple enemies attacking you at once threatening, which it would be. The... I didn't like the. I didn't like how it didn't tell me any of the controls, but I feel that's not the game's 
fault, I might have disabled something. Or it doesn't do it again on the second playthrough, because this is technically the second one, because I spent like five minutes trying to figure out the settings and everything with the first one, so blah blah blah. Uh... I don't know what else to say, really. I really like the game. I... Okay, here was a problem I had. Okay, here was a problem with it. As you could tell, probably tell from watching the series, if you watched the whole thing at all, you saw I stopped caring about dying. And that's because you don't have to care about dying. The concept of it removing your save data is a complete bluff. It's not there. Which I think is pretty cheap. Personally. I understand why it's there, because it puts, puts a threat. Because you feel the threat yourself about what's happening to Senua and of how she's feeling. But the fact it's cheaped out and doesn't actually do it, while is good for the player standpoint, because it doesn't remove your save data, meaning you have to start all over again, it also feels like a cop-out. If they made it so you needed to die a, a load of times, like 50, which I don't think I met, then it deletes it, fine! That's, like, that's your punishment for being extremely bad at games. But just not doing it at all, but telling you it will? That's a that's a bluff, cop-out, and a flat-out lie. So, I don't know how to... F I feel betrayed a bit by that. Oh, what other points do I want to make? Hmm. I love the... I love the area designs. The... I love how at they how they at were really accurate with their Norse mythology. That myth historian came in a lot of handy. I I'm only an amateur myth myth historian myself, but I am an even better mythologist, which is why I felt which is why I did what I was commenting on all of this as it went on. Yes, we know it's got representations of psychosis. <laughs> we were one of the problems with of psychosis for the woman. Because we were one of the voices in her head. Sure, we were controlling her actions, but we were still one of the voices. Especially with the way I talk. Well, I suppose not with the way I talk, but the way I'm talking right now, you could definitely say I was one of the voices. Ramble, ramble, ramble. Is that everything? Back to the main menu, are we? It seems like we might be. Yes, we are. We can't even continue our game, so we can't just go back and... Oh, okay. Fair enough. Well, everybody, this has been Hellblade, Senua's Sacrifice. I loved this game. I really love the developers who make this game, because they made Heavenly Sword and Odysseus to the West, two games I adored. Admittedly, Odysseus to the West's ending was kind of out there and made no sense, but it was still a good game. Anyway, this looks like the end of the episode. I have been your humble host, the Parafox Archangel, the English gentleman of the internet, and I thank you for watching me and this series, despite how bad it's been dis because of what's been happening to me this week. So, until tomorrow, where we will have brand new stuff up, <laughs> I say brand new, I'm going to be playing for the king. Until tomorrow, I must bid thee farewell, good day, and finally, everybody have a good night, and remember the lessons learnt today from that ending. Fear not death, for it is thy friend. <laughs>